Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. And welcome back to another Astro Chat episode. Today we're going to take a look at why is Mars exalted in the 10th house? Now in the last episode I had a look at why is Venus exalted in the 12th? And if you missed that episode, I'll put a link above so you'll be able to watch that. But if you're interested in Mars and Saturn, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look at these two energies. Now I'm going to break this video down into sections. The first section is going to be performance, structure. We're going to have a look at that concept with Saturn and Mars. And then we're going to take a look at some examples where I'm going to talk about the stock market and I'm going to talk about a friend of mine who worked in advertising. And then we're going to take a look at some sample charts. So let's start by looking at performance and structure. What do I mean by performance and structure? Why am I choosing these two to focus on for this topic? Okay, so if we have a look here, we've got Mars in the 10th house. I'm going to draw Mars on here. Whoops. Well, he's, he's looking up. <laughs> so we've got Mars in the 10th house. Now Mars, I'm going to say, is performance. Why do I say performance? Why do I use the word performance? It's because Mars likes to do. Mars is the male masculine energy and masculine energy is all about doing. It's present moment focused, it's in the now, it's doing, it's exerting itself, it's making something happen in real time. There's an excitement, there's a fiery nature about Mars and Mars has to do something. Mars gets bored up here in the 12th. He's like, oh, I want to do something. He gets bored here in the 4th, you know. He, he, he doesn't want to be at home putting his feet up. He doesn't want to do that. He wants to be out on the battlefield. He wants to be here in the 10th house. He's all about doing. And doing or performance, these are really important words here for Mars. Now what is Saturn all about here in the 10th? Well, I'm going to say structure. Well, this pen is pretty terrible. Can you read that? Yeah, I think so. Saturn is structure. Okay, so Saturn creates the structures here. So what do we have here? We have giant corporations, right? Saturn creates all of that structure. I, I believe corp, corporation, corp, does that, there's something about death there as well, isn't there? Some Latin derivative. I don't know, I'll look it up and put it on the screen if I can find something about that. But yeah, corporations, like these dead entities or whatever, but like the, the but that can act like a person, you know, that can hold assets while you as the company director run a mark or, or whatever it is that you do, right? So but the point is that Saturn creates the structure. So this is ideal for Mars. This is so ideal for Mars because Mars just gets to do. Mars get the, the time is totally maximized for him to do. He wants to do. He wants to be creative. He wants to be doing things. It's all about doing. It's all about being in the now. It's all about this real time energy of exerting and making stuff happen. Let's take a look at some examples of what I mean by this. We have, I'm going to have to animate this with examples and case studies. You'll see what I mean. You'll see why I'm choosing these words, performance uh, and structure quite deliberately. So let's take a look at the stock market. Okay, stock market. So as I said, Saturn creates the structures of this 10th house, corporations, and even, even the stock market. Stock market is Aquarius and Leo line as well, I know. But let's just take this as an example. So you know with the stock market, it's, there's a lot of structure here in terms of prices and legal contracts, all these kind of things. There's all this structure everywhere. And they always talk about how did it perform today? 
you know, say, what was the performance of the stock market? You know, did it go up? Did it go down? Like this, the stock market performs. So the stock market, you can see, has this Saturnian structure. And the performance is Mars. Another thing with the stock market that we see that is very Saturn and Mars is that Mars can be seen as greed or desire. And then Saturn is fear. So there's all this excitement, but then, you know, oh, there's fear, right? They say that the stock market is driven by greed and fear. And it's definitely driven and run by these two energies. So even without people, we can see these forces at play. We can see structure as an energy that just kind of sits like a container almost. And then the performance, the doing, which is Mars. What's another example of this? Okay, my friend who works in advertising, she has this amazing Mars in the 10th house. And she's a creative director. So when you work in advertising, you have all these account director type people and they set up all the deals with the clients. They set up the structure. So the account director will go and set up the structure and they'll say, all right, well, our client wants to run three 30 second commercials, three spaces. You know, they cost, I don't know, a million each. <laughs> it's expensive. Wouldn't happen today, but anyway. <laughs> uh, and we want to run it three times per week. So this is a Saturnian structure that the account directors will create then the creative director and the copywriters and the art directors and this, you know, the graphic design team and all them, they'll come and they'll fill in the spaces. They animate, it's the doing energy. And they say, oh, we wanna have like a car that goes off a cliff. And then, you know, the next week we wanna have, I don't know, the car flies in space or something. And then the next, week we want to have the car turns into a spaceship or something like that whatever anyway the point is that the creative types they've got the doing energy and they fill in the space they fill in the structure or they animate the structure or they bring the structure to life but the structure is needed you see and creative people and doers would much rather someone else create that structure okay let's take a look at some sample charts now i've got some more ideas for you to contemplate we're going to take a look at three people who have got mars in the 10th house and these are very different people now i'm just going to bring them up on my screen why not i'll bring it up on your screen but i'm not going to go too deeply into this i'm not going to look at lordships i'm not going to look at aspects i'm not going to look at any of that i just want to see purely what's mars doing in the 10th house and the first example i'm going to bring up is perhaps someone unlikely you might not think that shirley bassey would have had such a strong mars but she did she had an amazing mars and that mars is there in the 10th house and i believe by ishtakashtafala it's really good from that front it's great shadbala good strong Mars alone in the 10th. This is really what I was looking for. If you have a look at this Mars of hers, she loved to perform. It was all about performance. So the songs were written by someone else. I'm pretty sure she didn't write the songs. I'll do some research on that. If I find otherwise, I'll put it up on the screen, but I'm pretty sure she sang everyone else's songs. What did she love? She loved the singing. She loved the performance. She loved being on stage the doing, the doing energy, that was what she excelled at. She, she animated these songs and the songs are structures, right? Structures that someone else prepared. Let's take a look at another example. Someone who's a bit more physical. Oh, which one should we go for? I've got two here. Why don't we go, why don't we go for David Beckham first? David Beckham, Mars in the 10th, Mars alone. Good, strong Mars again. So again, I'm not gonna, there are other things to look at here. There's a few things catching my eye, but let's just focus in on this Mars. This is someone who, when you look at, back at his career and his legacy and what it was that he did to make so much money, it's not like he created a physical product or an architectural structure or 
taught a course or it, it's his life's legacy was it, it was all about being in the now and performing brilliantly right an athlete doesn't have well, yeah what what concrete thing do they have that you know if you run a giant company or there's lots of things where you leave stuff behind you leave a paper trail behind at the very least but look at this guy the career that made him the big money which was being out there on the soccer field uh, and I don't know bending the ball or whatever it was that he did like the point is that it was all performance energy he didn't invent the game he didn't make the game he didn't none of that he played the game that's it he played it really really well next example we're going to take a look at is we're at the 11 minute marks so it's not too bad <laughs> it's philippe petit okay mars alone in the 10th house so again it was performance art he performed he you know the structures were existing he had these uh, and i suppose i could I, I don't know if i could draw this let's see if i can draw it i'm let's face it i can't draw this but he had these two buildings here oops see i can't really draw 3d i can no let me do it go on yes what he did was we've got the twin towers here and he erected a tight tight rope there like that and with a very long pole and you know what, I should just put a picture on the screen, you can see what he did. He just danced between the buildings, however many, you know, hundreds of meters up in the sky. I mean, he just, that it, his life was performance art. It was all about performance. Someone else built the structures, but his career and his life and his legacy was all about the performance. So, that is my take on Saturn and Mars. And you can take a look in your chart and see where are these two energies and how are they interacting. And please don't be worried or frightened if you see that these guys are conjunct or these guys are opposite each other or there's some aspect or something going on. This is not uh, a combination to fear. This is a beautiful thing, Saturn and Mars. you know. And think in terms of Saturn can create the structure and my Mars energy will fill it in. My Mars energy will fill it in with doing or performance or, you know, energy, creativity. There's lots of things you can do with your Mars energy. So I hope this has been a good overview and a good angle on this topic of Mars being exalted in Saturn. Let me know your thoughts below. I'd love to hear how you see these two operating and I look forward to seeing you next time.